Good afternoon. It's Friday, August 19th, 2011. I'm Russ Barton with your Erneberry Market Report and Food Service video sponsored today by Australian Premium Brands Incorporated. First up today is a look from Erneberry's HRI Buyer's Guide, which is a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Here's Terence Wells with this week's price trends and movers from the food service industry. Thanks, Russ. Our biggest gainer this week was veal breasts, which were up significantly as participants look to recoup the cost of the higher feed and livestock. Movement in this market has been moderate at best. In the beef market, high wholesale beef prices have increased demand for value beef items as of late. Ground beef has long been the flagship beef value item, and the increase in demand has caused it to outpace other items. Ground beef had been trending lower for the last 10 weeks in typical summer fashion, but the rise in wholesale prices seems to have reversed the trend. Turning to the egg complex, the shell egg market continues full steady to firm this week. Demand has been better than expected for most, and supplies have been reduced by warm weather over the past several weeks. Large eggs remain in a close balance with need reported from all areas, especially in the southeast and south central regions. This has forced buyers to bid at premiums for supplies where available, with large loose prices up over 10% as a result. In the chicken market, supplies of boneless and skinless thigh meat has been fairly limited as of late, helping to move Erner Berry's quotations in the upper direction. I'm Terrence Wells with your HRI Buyer's Guide Movers of the Week. Now back to you, Russ. In the egg market, retail demand is fairly good to good. Wholesale buying interest is somewhat more limited today, however, premium bids are noted. Offerings of eggs for delivery into next week have increased somewhat. Open buying interest is noted on liquid whole egg, whites, and yolk. Looking at poultry, in the chicken market, the week is winding down, but inquiries continue to build for future considerations. Availability is ratcheting down with sellers holding product with confidence. Both dark and white meat lines are being requested with asking prices reflective of no less than full market or better. The undertone of the complex must be rated cautiously optimistic. Talking turkey, yesterday afternoon and again this morning we're finding significant interest in tom breast meat, drums, tom two joints and whole birds. In the case of whole birds, the volumes being shipped aren't all that large, but there still aren't any significant offerings. Ass prices range steady to mostly higher depending on the situation. Frozen tom breast meat is likely higher in the wake of purchases at premiums to yesterday's advancing quotation. Fresh meat is bid higher, but that has not yielded any additional supply. Thigh meat is fully maintained. Drums continue to be well cleared. Necks are adequate to at least adequate, but supplies are narrowly based. MST is rated full steady. Taking a look at pork, the increase of hogs on the market as a result of boosted slaughter and improved weather conditions leads expectations towards overall weaker pricing at direct markets for Friday. The majority of the green meat complex is expected steady to slightly weaker today after prices fell on many cuts for most of the week. <coughs> However, the statement excludes trimmings, which have resisted downward pressure thus far, and therefore maintain a steady to slightly firmer outlook until product is more readily available. The market for fresh pork products continues to be un increasingly unsettled as larger kills and seasonal influences are weighing on these markets and wide ranges are expected to remain. Last up today, here's AJ Munger with a look at all fresh beef retail prices. All fresh beef prices hit a record high in July, just surpassing the April 2011 mark by 10 cents per pound. Choice beef retail prices were down only slightly over last month and close to 1% lower than April's figures. Other cuts were lower as well. The report showed sirloin losing almost 4.5% in value compared to April. The rise in all fresh beef prices can be almost solely attributed to the rise in ground beef prices, which rose 3.5% from April to July. Since ground beef makes up over 55% of the total amount of beef sold in the U.S., an increase in ground beef prices has a greater effect on overall retail prices than similar increases in steaks and roasts. Interestingly enough, this rise in retail ground beef prices was not correlated with a rise in wholesale ground beef prices. Higher wholesale beef prices, in general, are probably putting increased pressure on retailers' margins. This may have led retailers to increase prices for ground beef to make up for lost revenues in other beef sectors. 
They are able to do this because the demand for ground beef is more inelastic when compared to steaks and roasts, and an increase in price will not affect the quantity demanded for ground beef to the same degree as other cuts of beef. That wraps up Burn Berry's market report and food service video brought to you today by Australian Premium Brands Incorporated. When was the last time your expectations were exceeded? Call Australian Premium Brands today and ask about their beef programs for high choice, choice, select, and no roll equivalent from grain and grass fed steers. Also ask about their certified and organic and wag you beef programs. Visit them online at www.apbbeef.com or give them a call at 877-717-BEEF.